Hello everybody, this is Milby here, and I'm playing a game called Kerbal Space Program. Now, due to the, uh, should we say, YouTube circles that I run in, a lot of you will, uh, will know of a, a YouTuber named Kurt J. Mack who does this, and I feel weird doing this because I feel like I'm stepping on his turf, but I just want to say that the reason I'm playing this right now is, is, is completely due to him. Um, I was, uh, due to a, a, a sleeping schedule, uh, reversal that I had to do, where I had to stay up for a whole 24 hours to flip my whole schedule, basically. Uh, I basically, I was doing stuff to stay awake, and I had Kurt's Cable Space Program playlist, all 55 episodes playing all day in the background. And after watching it all day, I, I find myself here, recording this. Uh, entirely inspired by Kurt, so I just want to thank Kurt for well for basically inspiring me to do this, um, even though he doesn't know it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play this game, and hopefully it will be good to view and entertaining for you guys. I played a little bit before, but I want to start new. What I really want to do here is play career mode, and I hope they bring out career mode sometime soon because that would be a very fun uh, let's play. So, we're gonna just, yes, I have, I did have one before, I've done the tutorials, I, um, I, I'm probably gonna have to fiddle with the, vo uh, the audio volume, because I turned them down quite a lot at the moment, I've, um, I've done all the tutorials, so I do know the basics, but, and I've watched, obviously watched the entire, a lot, a lot of videos on it, but, uh, we're gonna start from the basics here. And we're going to go to the vehicle assembly building, and we're going to build ourselves a spaceship. Now, if you don't know about this game, although most of you will, because of who you probably come here from, um, it's a space simulation game. I love this music. Gotta learn the smooth jazz. So this is a space simulation kind of game, ish. Um, you you build rockets and you go into space, and uh, it's very it's I had a little go and it's surprisingly fun. I didn't think I'd like this kind of game, and it looks really complex, but and it's certainly not sim simple. But it's been made a lot simpler over as it's been uh, updated because I believe it's in alpha at the moment still. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that uh, well I'll keep adding to it, career mode specifically, which I want, but um. Yeah, it's it's not it's not as difficult as you might think to to get into and have fun with because the fun in this game I think comes from the failure and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So today we're just gonna start simple. We do command mod. It's a one man command. We're just gonna test out some flights. It's really simple. Just get us into the air and see how far they take us. So this is what you're witnessing right here. Is uh, hello. Here's the day. <laughs> Today is the day where we, the Kerbal people, take flight into the almighty stars above. Godspeed, people. And there you go. That was a message from Command. So, this is the, the, fa the foundings of the Kerbal Space Program. Testing out new things. And seeing how they work, so you can just drag and you, what you do is you just you got all, you got all sorts of stuff here. I don't know what half this stuff does, and I will eventually be reading stuff up on this. But what I what I really want to do first is enjoy the failure. Um, and oh, yeah, those those sort of go off screen for some reason. I don't know why. I want to enjoy the failure for now. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, right, let's... I don't know why these two go off screen. Basic jet engine. Engine power of 150. Engine power 200, 215, 220, 1.5, 50. Oh, that's a big rocket. <laughs> that doesn't look right at all. Uh, how about how about that one? We'll do that one. There you go. 
And whilst we're gonna we're gonna stick on two wings. Oh, you can uh, you can use this. What's the next page? Oh, there's more. I didn't know that. Or do you, we'll go use those. You can use this wonderful symmetry button to. Uh, Basically, you just pick and drop anything from this option, this menu. I can't remember this, some people may have not seen this game. I'm just assuming everyone has. Uh, basically, what you have here is you've got all the parts, and you you drag and you drag them out, and you put them down into whatever, like where you go. I'm not a space person. Well, I like I'm fascinated by space, but I, I certainly don't like keep up on all the space the space things. Um, but it's just a fun game. So you're viewing this to the eyes of someone who is most certainly not. A, a physicist <laughs> or an avid space man but hopefully it's still fun there you go that's what right that is it that is our first right here we have we will name this this is the first thing that the Kermans have ever built the Kermans that is the there's the green people here the Kermans on Kerbin no the Kermans on Kerbin on Kerbin yes I think that's right Music is so funny. So this will be test B after Milby. Test B one. Save that. The first ever flight. Oh, I've got to stick these on, haven't I? The first ever flight of a Kerbin rocket. The test B one. This is this is uh, this is just a, this is like a proof of concept to prove that it can be done. So they have a fuel tank. They have. Oh, we need a, we need a parachute. We need a parachute. That is way too big. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Lift off for test B1. Clear landing bay, please. Oh no, I've. Uh oh. Uh, I need another. I need more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this this wonderful thing here is uh, this is basically where you set what goes off at what time by pressing the space bar because the whole. The whole the whole game a lot a lot of the game is controlled with the space bar. The space bar is like a key part of this. You press space bar to launch. Uh, you press space bar to move between different sections of the ship. So as you can see here, the first press of the space bar, which will set off this engine and release these clamps. The second one will pull out a parachute. Uh, and Jebediah Kerman. Oh, we seem to start with Jebediah. Jebediah Kerman. Inside of the spaceship, there's no windows. Oh, there is a window up top. Jebediah Kerman will be the first Kerbin in space. You can control the whole thing from here, which is cool. That's the throttle. It's probably a lot easier not to control it from in here. So the tutorial, yeah, there is a tutorial for this game, so I don't feel like I should have to explain the whole game to you. But um, basically, WASD, you got you got Q and E. Uh, it's all controls your yaw and stuff, and your tilt and your stuff and all that. So all we're going to do here is we're going to take off, and we're just going to see. We're going to try and land in the sea, which is over there on the Kerbin. This is the planet itself. Let me let me give you a zoom out. This is the planet Kerbin that we're taking off from. As you can see, it looks it's a very beautiful planet, and uh, there's a lot to it. There's the you've got. This is Kerbin. This is Kerbin's moon. This is its other moon, Minmus. And further out, we find ourselves in this solar system here, where we have Eve, uh, Moho, the sun at the center, of course, Duna, out from that, Dres, Jewel, and then furthest out, Elo. And that is about, I believe that is all there is at the moment. Elo. So we go back in. And there we are. But right now, Jebediah Kerman, brave soul who has volunteered for this mission to be the first Kerman ever to be fired into a, a rocket that they've just discovered. <laughs> Fledging the, this, this is the birth of the of the of the the Kerman the Kermans the Kerbin the Kerb Kerman's space flight thing. Here we go. Ah, stuff.
Oh. I didn't put the throttle on. There we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Jebediah having a bit of a bad launch there. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 I pressed spacebar. Oh, I pressed spacebar, that's what's happened. Oh no, <laughs> the parachute's come out and it's, <laughs> it's throwing me around. Oh! Oh, oh, parachute, please stop. You, you're really messing me up here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no, I can't control this at all. No! <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. I've made a big mistake here. I haven't used a separation thing. <laughs> oh, dear. This is what I get for rushing into it. You're supposed to use the couplings, the couplings on this. I've totally forgotten to put a coupling on it. You bet you were saying you need a coupling. This is why we do. <laughs> Chip and I is loving this. He's like, woo! Look at him, he's loving it. Just spinning around like a lunatic. I don't know if we're ever gonna land. <laughs> We just, this parachute seems to be uh, keeping us up in the air for an awful long time. Oh. Disastrous first mission there. But you should <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love this game. I think we are falling just like incredibly slowly. <laughs> what is up with the. This is a weird ass physics going. I, oh my gosh. I'm trying to work out if we're actually falling. Well, we definitely. We were falling, and now we're going up again. But like, are we trapped now in a loop? Now we're falling again. We definitely are. We are going down. But we're going down and going up. So hopefully. Hopefully this this parachute will like eject us at some point. Oh my gosh. Now that you can speed up time in this. So we're just gonna speed up time a little bit just to help us reach the bottom. Although it tends to mess with the physics a little bit apparently. So you can like just blow yourself up doing this. Okay, just come on. Woo! Jebedi absolutely loving this. We slowly I don't I don't even know what you'd call this. You just we're like pendulum swinging our way down to the pla Oh the parachute is gone. I think the parachute's gone. The parachute's gone, but we're still uh Still swinging. That was so that was all human error there. I forgot to put a coupling on. What well, human and structural error? Mostly human because I accidentally pressed the space bar when I didn't mean to. So I think the parachute may still be there. What is this? This is weird as hell. I think I've broken something in the game. Is it going to blow up when it hits the floor? That's what I want to know. We, we seem to be flying sideways. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not going down yet. We, we're definitely, like, flying sideways. Is that, does that mean the parachute's broken, or...? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Jebediah. Oh, Jebediah. <laughs> Disaster. Lift off. Wing. Parachute collided. Fuel tank. Jebediah was killed. Absolute disaster. Jebediah murdered on the platform in front of our very eyes. Uh... 
he never even he never really made it anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna in memory of Jebediah, we've learned we have learned some things from Je Jebediah's death was not in vain. Jebediah will not die for no reason. Jebediah's death has taught us a serious precaution, and that is that we definitely need to remember to always put stack decouplers on. So <laughs> the maiden voyage of the test B1 was a, was a failure. The test B2, however, will <laughs> will in Jebediah's name uh, make it to to somewhere. So here we go. Test B2. Clear the launch. Take off. Prepare for take off. In uh, three, two, one. Blast off. Oh no! I did it again. Why? What? What did I just do? What happened then? Hang on a minute. What was that? Why did the head pop off straight away? Oh, because I didn't... Right, okay. Um, right, hang on a minute. Okay, I, I've got it this time. It's still test B2. That was just me making a mistake. Okay, test B2. I swear to God, right, I've, I've made a ship fly. Just, this is because I'm recording. Everything's going wrong. Okay, here we go. Bill Kerman. To, to help out Jeb I love how Jebediah has died the first thing. <laughs> Bill Kerman here. Worried worried a little bit, obviously, after the death of Jebediah. Not entirely not entirely convinced that their space program will ever work. Bill Kerman, we salute you. Engage throttle. This as well, because I've forgotten to put the throttle up again then. And lift off. Oh we are off. Okay. Going high. Got to make it maintain control here. Oh, 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 we're veering off a bit. Oh, got to keep... You, what you want to do is you want to keep that ball pretty center for a while. And then slowly tilt off, right? So we want to... Oh! Oh, no. I wanted to get over the sea. No, no, I've lost control. I have totally lost control. Ah... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There is uh, there, there is no control. <laughs> lost, just absolutely lost control there. What I, a successful flight right now would be to just take off, go up and then down. To I don't think there's enough fuel to do what I want to do. We're gonna add another fuel stack. But, Bill Kerman did, you did do pretty well. Well done, Bill. What's it doing again? Is it doing this weird, like... No, it is falling. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, is it going to do that weird little... Like, I don't know what was going on before. It's doing it again. What is that? Is that because of the wings, or... Or whatever, like, you're off. Get out of here. He's off. He'll fall back down now to put the planet. Oh, let's let's uh right. Let's get ourselves stationed properly. Up. There we go. Okay, and pull out the parachute. Hmm. Now. And it will, and then it will unlock. 500 and we'll safe safely float there you go down to the planet there you go lovely let's just speed that up a little bit Whee! it's a very slow process falling so you get a little bit dull actually that reminds me where is our where did the other thing go No nearby objects to focus on. Well, where's the... Where's the debris gone? There it is. Can't switch vessels while in atmosphere. Oh, okay. Just, uh, just kind of curious. Well, there you go. Bill Kerman 
Landed safely, evacuated. You can get out your ship now, which is lovely. Let go. Ah, and there he is. Bill Kerman. On the, back on the Kerman. Safe. Safe flight. And now he's just, he's gonna he's gonna walk home. He's he's like, Well, I'm done. Bill Kerman, we're done here. Cool guys, uh, always walk away from their little pods. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end that flight end flight back to the vehicle assembly so the test be too proved that the Kermans can take off but they need more fuel so we're going to add a second fuel tank and and we're going to add some more wings as well Here we go. There you go. Look at that. How about that one, huh? Nice. Alrighty then. Test B free. The third vessel. This this they have a lot of uh, funds to this place. They can afford to just once one crashes, they can afford to send another one straight back up again. So, have we got this all set up right? That will set off that, that will unlock that, and that will set off that. Right, okay, so, the test be free. They've learned from their last mistakes. They've learned now that they need possibly more wings and more fuel to get that little bit further. Back to the launch pad for our third test flight. To, of proof, it's like a proof of concept, I suppose. Bill Kerman, back for more. The the, uh, the part of the test B2 is uh, just lying on the floor over there. I don't know if you can, like, pick them up, or... I did end it, so I would think that it would have just been picked up, but okay. I guess it's just going to stay there on the floor. I, I Can if I... Do I... Can I just... Okay, right, here we go, anyway. <sighs> Throttle up. Three, two, one, blast off. And we're off. Bill Kerman, not satisfied from last time, takes off once more. What a brave, what a brave, brave Kerman. A lot more fuel in our tank this time. Go. He's gone higher than any Kerman has before. He is higher than any Kerman has before. We're gonna tilt now. We're gonna do a little bit of a tilt. Tilt a little bit. Tilt a little bit. A little bit more. Just, just tilt it over the sea. I don't want any more uh, bits falling down on 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 the space base. He is. He. Ooh, oh my. Oh. We've reached a hundred and. Hundred and fifty. Hundred. We want to be 200 meters. Oh, we are over 200 meters into the sky. And there we go. Bill Kerman has proved that you don't need a big confusing rocket to get high in space. Well, into space, but... We need more fuel. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Kerman. Let's see. Let's get a look of his view. What can he see? He can see space. Twirling around. It's close. He's not in space yet. Because you'll know when you're in space because there's music. But look at that. Look at that. The highest point. Oh, we're still going up. The highest point of our apoapsis. Apoapsis is. What's that? 990 meters? Slowing, slowly going down. Because, of course, we're not accelerating anymore. Oh, we in space. I believe. We just hit space. In a simple little... Yes! There you go! That music right there means that you are in space. Bill Kerman! Bill Kerman. Is it F2 to get rid of this? Yes. Congratulations, Bill Kerman. You are the first man ever to enter space. And you're not seem particularly happy about it, mind you. <laughs> I don't know what this ox oxidizer liquid fuel is all about. 
I'll have to look into that. All this electrical charge. Can you electrically charge fuel, uh, your engines? Interesting. And this, so there you have it, guys. Bill Kerman. To honor his fallen member of Jebediah. Pull one out for your homies. Let's take it into space. And he's floating above the earth. He seems incredibly worried about it. Look at that. Look at that. What will our highest point be? We're still going up. Come on, reach 900. Oh! 89992. Or was it 91? It's a big abort button there. I don't know what that does. Does that make you think blow up? There you have it, guys. We reached our highest point, and now we will sink back down to the planet. But we did it. We did it. We did it. We reached space. Now, now we need to slowly. I'm all, I'm all about slow progress. We need to slowly build upon this, and uh, and go further and further until. They can finally orbit the Earth. That is, their, that is of course, your, your first goal in this. Is to, is, to, is, to a nice, is to get a nice orbit. But that was beautiful. That was wonderful. I love that we made it up here in this little shitty thing. <laughs> Just two fuel tanks, a rocket, and some propellers. Test B3. Is it, uh, mission successful. So I'm just going to speed up time a little bit here now. Can't do it. Well, you can't do it for all of them, can you? I don't know why I'm still throttled up. I don't need to be. I should probably uh, drop my sh just decouple now. Oh, oh, I'm not in space anymore. It just so happened I, as I decoupled it, um, I uh, left space. Let's be free. And the debris both falling down. So I'm just gonna speed up things a bit now. Just so we don't. Uh... Uh, there we go. Down we go. Down we go. Whoa! Whoa! We're falling faster than that, aren't we? Whoa! 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 Pull out the parachute. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of G forces going on. There we go, slowing down. I think. We're gonna splash down nice and safely in the ocean. Mm. And the parachute pops out. There you go. And that is Bill Kerman successfully survived two. Two flights. Bill Kerman is our ace pilot. And splash down. Where we go? Lovely. There he is. And let's get him out and let him go for a little swim. Oh, it's tipped over. Oh, it's turning over. Way! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Oh, there he is. Oof, he's out. He's, he fell off. And he's out. He's off for a swim now. Where is he? Where is... Uh... Oh, my. Where's... Uh... Bloody hell, where's the space station gone? Is it over there? Oh, he's... A... Oh, bloody hell, he's in a little bit... Actually, I don't know where it is. Where, where's the, where's the? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's not. Well, it's not too far away. It'd be cool if you could do like you could get like, uh, pickups and stuff. But um, yeah, you can't. So there you go. Bill Kerman, another successful uh, mission. Congratulations. You forgot your yeah. You forgot you have the. You have a jetpack in this, but it's not really any use to you when you're in the water. <laughs> in fact, you can't use it when you're in the water. So there we go, guys. Bill Kerman, 
have to has had a successful space flight. He he was in space. He was in space, and that is that is amazing. That is the Kerman's first proper adventure into space. There was unfortunately a loss of life. Jebediah was lost due to a terrifying uh, <laughs> terrifying error on my part. Uh, accidentally hitting the space bar too early and um, also forgetting to put a coupler on. But we learn, we learn, we learn from these things. So, thank you everybody for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll do more. Hopefully I'll do more. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, it was it was fun to view and it was exposed. Most of all, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was very fun. So, until next time, guys, stay safe and... Uh, Keep reaching for the skies. <laughs> you look so derpy. <laughs> you better not be peeing in there.